Hi guys, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. I welcome you all in this series for December 7, 2020. And this pleasant morning is going to be spiced up for you with knowledge through this video. So let's begin this video. But the people who are coming for the first time, I would like them to subscribe to this channel and hit this bell notification. Also guys, you can join the Telegram channel where we share free quizzes as well as resolve your queries. So the link of this channel is in description box below. Here is our first question, which is, who has won the Global Teacher of Prize 2020? So this is a prestigious prize and this year in 2020, it has been won by a Maharashtrian. So who is that person? Guys, can you make a guess here? The right answer is Ranjit Singh Dishal. So he uh, teaches in a Zilla Parishad Primary School, which is in Paritwadi village of Solhapur district. Guys, his... Uh, school address is important for you to remember because a question ca can come up on that as well. So remember that he teaches in Zilla Parishad Primary School of Paditwari village in Solapur district of Maharashtra and he has won this Global Teachers Award 2020. Now apart from this, the other information that you should be aware of is the organization that gives this award. So which organization confers this award? It is Varki Foundation. So this foundation gives this Global Teacher Award and this year it is Ranjit Singh Dishal. That's all for this question. Who has been appointed as the Ambassador of Fit India Movement? So recently this appointment has been made and the person who has been appointed the Ambassador of this Fit India Movement is the first Dronacharya body of JNK UT. So remember that this increases his importance. Now, which person is this? It is Kuldeep Handu. And he is the first, I am repeating myself because this fact is important. He is the first Dronacharya body of JNK UT from JNK UT. And which sport does he belong to? Guys, do you know that? If you know the answer, then do tell me in the comment section below so that other people who don't know can know the answer. So do tell me that which sport does he belong to and remember that he has been appointed as the ambassador of Fit India movement which was launched in the year 2019 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. What is the theme of BRICS Youth Summit? So this is the sixth edition of BRICS Youth Summit which was recently held at Novosk, Russia. So this is the place where this 6th BRICS Youth Summit was held and from India, Kidan Rijuju, Minister of Sports participated in this BRICS Youth Summit through virtual mode. So the theme of this BRICS Youth Summit is option B, BRICS challenges of the time for young people. Guys, remember the theme, the edition of this, uh, this BRICS Youth Summit as well as the place where we're where this was held now apart from this a minor information about this summit is that that it was started in the year 2015 and the first edition was also held in russia only so that's the interesting fact about this news now about BRICS. BRICS is a international organization and that's why you should be aware of the static facts related to BRICS. so establishment year current president and the upcoming president country of BRICS summit. The members, members to bohat easy hai because there are only five countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So these are the three facts, headquarters, the current chair and the upcoming chair of BRICS. These are the three questions that you have to answer in the comment section below. If you know the answer, then it is well and good. But in case you don't know the answer, then do search for it and Tell it in the comment section below because these are the facts that you should know from the exam point of view. Who heads the task force formed by Ministry of Education for preparing a roadmap on imparting technical education in mother tongue? So guys, this 
reminds me of national education policy that also uh, pushed this fact ahead that the education the medium of instruction should be the mother tongue in order to remove the hindrance of language so that the people the students can easily understand what is being taught now this thing has been taken to a greater scale in higher education as well and for this the new committee has been formed now guys what is your task your task is to watch the session in which the national education the new education policy was discussed because the new education policy is very important any question can be made from the policy itself so do watch the session in which the new education policy has been discussed now let's come back to our question so this task force is headed by secretary of department of higher education under ministry of education so remember this thing that this is the position this is the official uh, position which can head this task force now who is the incumbent person who is the person who is presently the secretary of department of higher education under ministry of education the answer is amit khare so remember this thing amit khare is the person who has been appointed as the chair of this committee that is going to recommend the ways in which technical education including engineering education can be imparted in mother tongue So that's all for this question. Minister of Education is Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. On which beach was International Sand Art Festival 2020 held? So, first of all, before moving ahead with anything else, I would like to tell you that all the beaches in the options are the blue flags, uh, blue flag beaches. because they have received the blue flag certification what is blue flag certification you would have come across this term in previous sessions as well of pib 247 when a total number of 8 beaches were granted the blue flag certification so now your task is to tell me the organization which grants this blue flag certification in the comment section below now coming back to this question so this international sand art festival 2020 was held on chandrabhaga beach which is in puri odisha guys this uh, sand art festival is usually held or we can say it generally held is held uh, simultaneously with the konark dance festival so in the first week of december so remember these thing now this year there were two important themes on which the sculptors were asked to make sculptures under in this festival so what are the two themes first is environment and second is covid 19 so these are the two themes on which the participants of this festival were made to make the sculptures apart from this the other fact is that sudarshan patnayak who is the very famous sand artist you must have heard about his name so sudarshan patnayak has been appointed as the chief curator of this festival so remember the facts that i have told you here apart from this you have to tell me the organization which grants this blue flag certification that's all for this question now we are moving ahead towards the next question ramona national park is the proposed national park of which state national parks are very important and this is the current news that a state has announced so which state is this it is assam assam government has recently announced to upgrade its existing ripu reserve forest into the ramona national park so this upgradation uh, will be done and the proposal has been made only at the present time only the proposal has been made and the governor has not approved it yet the governor of assam so this ripu reserve park is located is basically we can say is located in the buffer zone of manas national park remember this thing as well because this is an important question 
Now guys, do you know that if the approval is sanctioned to this Ramona National Park, after that, Assam is going to have a total number of six national parks. So this is again a very important fact for you to remember. Remember this thing that it is the sixth national park, proposed national park of Assam. Now, one more fact about this Ripu Reserve Forest and that fact is that the world's largest uh, known population of golden langurs. reside in this Ripu Reserve Forest and Chirang Reserve Forest. So these two reserve forests account for the largest known population of golden langur. So these are some of the facts from this question that you should remember. Now my question for you is that I have told you that there are going to be six national parks in Assam. Two I have already told you, Ramona and Manas. Now you, your task is to find out the remaining national parks which are there in Assam and tell me in the comment section below. Apart from this, you should also be aware of the CM and Governor of Assam. So you remember who is the CM and the Governor of Assam. Find it out and tell me in the comment section below. Which company has launched the India's first 100 octane petrol? First of all, you must be thinking that what is this 100 octane petrol? Octane is nothing but a degree or a parameter to measure the smoothness of petrol. So we need not to go into the technicalities of octane petrol. Just remember that this is India's first 100 octane petrol or we can say the uh, company that is Indian Oil Corporation has manufactured the first octane petrol that has a degree of 100. Okay, what is the name of this petrol? It is XP100. So that's all for this news that you should remember. Now, do you guys know who is the chairman of this company? This is a static fact related to Indian Oil Corporation and this is your task to find it out and tell me in the comment section below. So that's all for this session guys. I hope that you have really liked it and if you have then do share this session with your friends and come back tomorrow as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.